Mirror chocolate cake with strawberry jelly and white chocolate mousse is a cake with different layers and a delicacy for chocolate lovers. Filled with white chocolate mousse, strawberry jelly and a layer of chocolate cake on the inside, this cake is best for birthdays and special occasions. Cooking Company will take you one step at a time into creating this mouth-watering cake. First, we add our strawberries, 300 grams, 20 grams of sugar, 50 milliliters of water to a pan, and we'll let that bubble away. You can use frozen strawberries or fresh strawberries, whatever takes your fancy. We'll pour that mixture into a bowl once it's nicely softened. We're going to blend it together so it is smooth. Then we can add our gelatin, 12 grams of that, Give it a stir till it's very well mixed together, then we pour it into our container and freeze it for around 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll make our chocolate cake. That's cake mixture, three eggs, oil, some milk, and we're going to whisk it all together. You can use ready-made cake mixture from the shop or make your own with a bit of self-raising flour, baking soda and cocoa powder. Now we're going to lightly spray our cake tin with oil and add wax paper on the bottom to stop it from sticking. Then we add our chocolate cake mixture. Now this is going to bake in the oven at 180 degrees for around 30 minutes. While that is cooking away, we make our white chocolate mousse. That's four egg yolks and 120 grams of sugar. Blend it up. Next, we're going to add some corn flour. This is what's going to thicken it later on when we bubble away on the stove. And we can add two teaspoons of vanilla extract to give it a lovely flavor. And then we add 500 milliliters of milk to a pan. We heat that a little bit and add that to the rest of the mixture. Once that's all mixed together, we are two thirds of the way towards white chocolate mousse. Nice and smooth, we're going to add the whole mixture back to our cooking pot. Now here comes the time consuming part. We have to whisk away for quite a while until the texture thickens up and becomes a mousse-like texture. Nice and thick and gloopy. At that point, we can take it off the pan. We're going to add melted white chocolate, 150 grams. If you want to be interesting, you could even add some food coloring. Why not? 12 grams of gelatin to that as well and whisk it up till it's very, very well mixed and smooth. Now we're going to add 500 milliliters of whipping cream and whisk it till it's very thick and gloopy. And we'll add the rest of our mixture to the whipping cream. Once that has been stirred, so you see there's a lot of stirring involved in this part of the process, but look, we have this absolutely delicious white chocolate mousse. We can stick it in a food bag or a piping bag, a food bag where you can just cut the end off to make a nozzle. You can squirt it into your baking tin so that it's ready to put your frozen strawberry jelly on top. Now we're going to use a piping bag to squirt around the edges of the jelly and over the top. Take your time with this and be very generous with your helping of white chocolate mousse. We love a bit of white chocolate mousse. We're going to just smooth over the top with a spatula because we want to now add our chocolate cake. Just final touches and voila, there we go. We freeze that for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we're going to make our topping. Sugar, cocoa powder, sweetened condensed milk. Now we add 100 milliliters of water to the cooking pot and stir it as it's heating, making sure it's nice and smooth. Now we might have a few lumpy bits of cocoa powder in the bottom, so we're going to pour it through a sieve onto a bowl of chocolate buttons. We've used dark chocolate. It gives it a lovely dark brown color. We're going to blend this up till it's absolutely smooth. Look at that lovely shiny mixture. This is our chocolate glaze. That glaze then gets poured over the rest of our cake. We recommend that you put your cake on a stand high up over a baking tray. That's because obviously as we pour the chocolate glaze, it's going to drip. So we're going to just smooth out the bottom and get rid of all those dripping pieces. Next, we're gonna get some broken up chocolate and we're going to just bludge it on there around the edges, alongside the bottom very nice finishing touch and of course it hides any dripping chocolate glaze. Now we can add a special touch with a few strawberries on top, halved with the leaves still on. We like a bit of green and red colour on our dark chocolate cake. Delicious, look at that. 
Chocolate glazing makes this cake look amazing. There's no such thing as too much chocolate, so we're making a double layered chocolate ganache cake dressed with strawberry Kit Kat candy bars as decoration and topped with fresh, juicy strawberries. This is the easiest, yet will be one of the most delicious chocolate cakes you've ever had. You could whip this up all by yourself, as Cooking Company will take you step by step into making this amazing strawberry Kit Kat cake. All you need is 200 milliliters of milk in a pan on the stove. Add in 400 grams of chocolate buttons and whisk away till smooth and melted. Now we're going to add 100 grams of butter. I'll let that melt into the mixture too. And there we have it, our chocolate ganache. Now here comes our chocolate cake. We're going to slice this into three parts. And guess what? We're going to add our chocolate ganache. We're going to add it on top of each layer and all around the outside of the cake to make it look extra special. You can prepare your chocolate cake in advance or even buy one ready-made from the store. So if you're looking for a very easy and ultra effective cake recipe, then this could be the one. So by adding this chocolate ganache and layering it like so, you're really adding a very, very special touch. It was a very basic chocolate cake and now look at it. It looks absolutely delicious. With a spatula, smooth it all around the edges, completely covering our chocolate cake layers. And there we have it. Now it's time to decorate. Let's get our little mini Kit Kat strawberry bars. We're going to stick them together using melted white chocolate. You could put this in a piping bag to make it easier. It kind of acts like glue. We're going to stick our Kit Kats vertically so we can put them all around the edge of our cake. It also creates a deepness, a kind of basket effect on the top of the cake. So we can put inside that basket our fresh strawberries and some strawberry flavoured buttercream. Again, you can prepare that in advance or buy it ready made from the store. For finishing touches, we'll add a strawberry coloured ribbon around the edge. Look at that. Beautiful. In fact, it's so beautiful, I don't think I want to cut it. Nah, come on, let's have a slice. The Kit Kats make it super easy to slice your cake evenly. Fantastic. Celebrate every occasion with this delicious peppermint overload cake. An easy cake recipe combining the flavour of chocolate with peppermint candies. It's a perfect dessert to serve your family and guests, leaving you loaded with a minty flavour topped with luscious mint chocolate and smothered in a mint spiked chocolate coating. Cooking Company will take you step by step into making this melt in your mouth peppermint overload cake. To make this delicious looking cake, just put 250 grams of butter into a bowl and whisk away. Now we add our icing sugar. 400 grams in total, but we're going to add a little bit at a time. This part of the process is very important. As we whisk away, we want to make sure that the consistency is just right, light and fluffy, so that the icing does not ooze out when we put it into our cake. Now we're going to split this mixture half-half into two bowls. First bowl, we add some mint extract. We can add a few generous drops of that and make sure it's mixed in really, really well. In our second bowl, we're going to add some red food coloring and some cocoa powder. Mix that together. Then we add our red buttercream icing and our white buttercream icing into food piping bags. Starting with the red, we're going to swirl it on the top of our chocolate cake layer making a spiral pattern, making sure to leave gaps in between for the white mint flavoured buttercream icing. Now we're going to add a second layer of our cake on top and cover the entire cake in our red buttercream icing. We're going to just smooth it over using a spatula all the way around the edge. Next comes our candy. We're going to break the hook off the end and we're going to put the straight parts all the way around the edge of our cake. Now get your buttercream icing and make a stripey pattern on some cling film. Now very carefully roll it up and place that inside a food piping bag. 
Now, if we snip the edge off, we should be able to pipe that stripy buttercream and decorate the top of our cake. Then why not add a few pieces of broken candy using the remainder of our broken candy canes? Look at that, something right out of Wonderland. How about a slice of minty gorgeousness? What's the best answer if you have to choose between red velvet and a brownie? Well, we'd say both, because you can now bake a red velvet brownie all by yourself with simple ingredients. Cooking Company will take you one step at a time into making this easy to make and delicious red velvet brownie. First, we get a mixing bowl and we add 200 grams of softened or room temperature butter. Give that a whisk. And now we're going to add some sugar to the butter, which is also the same amount, 200 grams. You can use an electric whisk if you want to make things a bit quicker. Then we add two eggs. We can add them at the same time. We don't need to add them one at a time. Now this whisking process will take a little bit longer. So we want to make it nice and smooth. Next comes our food coloring, which of course is going to be red. You could choose any color. You could do blue, purple, green velvet brownie. Why not? Now to that we add the vanilla extract which gives it a lovely flavour. You can buy some brownie mixture ready made from the supermarket so we'll just sift a bag of that in to get rid of any lumps and then we'll give that a whisk too. We want the texture to be really really smooth and shiny like this so that that's our batter ready to go in the oven. Before we do that, we're going to just steal a little bit of that butter and put it into a piping bag because we're going to be using that later. This is going to be an absolutely magical dessert. So now we put our red velvet brownie mixture into our baking tray. Onto some baking paper preferably because that helps it to not stick to the tray. So generously putting that in, but don't fill it right to the top smoothing it over because we're going to need that space later for our cream cheese topping. Now while that's bubbling away we're going to make our cream cheese layer. So we add cream cheese to a mixing bowl and give that a whisk. Next we're going to add 200 grams of sugar just like before, whisk that together. The next thing that's going to happen is we're going to add egg white, egg white only, 100 grams. That's approximately three to four eggs, depending on the size. We want to whisk it till it's really smooth and shiny, add some vanilla extract once again, and there we have our cream cheese layer ready. So now our red velvet brownie is baked and ready out of the oven. So we're going to add a nice big healthy dollop of cream cheese frosting on top, and we're going to spread it out nice and evenly. Now this should fill to the top of your baking tray. Smooth it over just like that. Now here comes the fun part. We get to decorate. We're doing a nice spiral pattern. We're using the red velvet brownie mixture to make a pretty pattern. Now if you want, you can get a stick or something like a toothpick to swipe across the piping that you've already put on there. And look, we have a beautiful looking sort of Charlotte's Web. Now we bake that at a slightly lower temperature, 150 degrees for approximately 15 minutes. And there you have it. Red velvet brownie. Amazing. Go on then, give us a slice. Mmm. Ever want an elegant and beautiful cake but don't have a ton of time to make it? It's time to learn this frosting hack and make your cake look like a masterpiece. This frosting hack is life-changing as it not only saves a lot of time but gives your cake a professional touch. Cooking Company will guide you to create this frosting hack cake. Are you ready? All you need is 250 grams of cake mix. Stick it in a bowl and add three eggs. Then we add 30 millilitres of oil and 60 millilitres of milk. Whisk those away in a bowl till smooth. And there we have our cake mix. We're going to pour that into a donut shaped cake mould. This gives it a really nice cool shape, but you could use any shape mould you like. Tap it and stick it in the oven for 30 minutes at 180 degrees. While that's cooking away, we'll add 150 millilitres of whipping cream to a pot and boil it. Now we add it to 200 grams of dark chocolate and give it a whisk. 
to make our creamy chocolate ganache. Let's just add a dollop of butter to that. Room temperature or slightly melted butter will be easier to mix in. And there we have it. It's very easy to make. All we have to do now is get a cake mold and pour our chocolate fudge ganache mixture into the cake mold on top of our donut cake. Sprinkle a generous helping of cocoa powder over our ganache and then lift the mold so it all drips down the side of our donut cake. Delicious. You can have this with a cup of tea or a nice coffee. Dig in to enjoy some gooey ganache deliciousness. Absolutely magical. Oh,